Bonjour, je m'appelle Hello, Vincent Pierre. my name is Vincent Pierre. I am the Marketing and Product Development Manager at Jano. I'm pleased to present to you today a very significant boat. A boat that replaces several iconic models, with thousands of units sold, including the Mary Fisher 755 and more recently the Mary Fisher 795. You've certainly guessed it. Today I would like to present the brand new Jano Mary Fisher 795 Series 2. Though we've kept the 795 name, it will be obvious that it is a completely new model, with a new hull, a new deck layout, and a new interior. It is still equipped with outboard motors. The clear advantage of outboard motors is their great reliability. The Series 2 can now be equipped with a 250 horsepower motor, offering the lively performance of a six-cylinder engine. The new hull also performs very well, with 150 or 200 horsepower motors. The new design is faithful to the DNA of the Mary Fisher line, which are not only family boats that are very safe and pleasant to drive, thanks to the outboard motors, but also defined by the combination of both exterior and interior living spaces that make overnight cruises, or longer, a possibility. After all, these boats are called weekenders. There are several ways to get on board. First of all, as on larger Mary Fisher models, there is a new gangway door, which makes it easy to get on board from a dock. It is also possible to take a more traditional route, through the aft cockpit gate. All you have to do is remove the additional seat to access the large, flush bathing platforms. They make movement on board and access to swimming easy. There is even a very practical handrail. This new model has a modern and elegant design, with more sporty lines. The hull has a greater volume, with a taller foredeck, that is to say, the bow is a little higher. Which means that, with the same berth dimensions and hull length, the interior will be more spacious. This new volume not only increases the living space in the cockpit, but also in the wheelhouse and cabin, bringing with it a new level of comfort. On board, space is optimized. As standard equipment, there is a large aft bench seat that takes up the entire beam of the boat. It is, of course, possible to customize the cockpit. The first option is this folding bench seat. And the second is this bench locker, which can also serve as storage. This bench locker is removable, if desired. Of course, the table is also an option. And with the table lowered, it is possible to transform the whole saloon into a large sunbed. The exterior cockpit can be equipped with a sunshade, as well as a camper top for full enclosure. One of the features that optimizes space on board is the sliding rear bench. With the seat pushed aft, the cockpit space opens up, and when it's time to raise the motor, it can be slid forward. Under the cockpit, there is a large locker. Here, it is equipped with many options. There is also a dedicated compartment for the 280-liter fuel tank. The battery switches are in an easy-to-reach location here on the side of the galley, just behind this panel. There are side decks for access forward to both port and starboard. There is a step to facilitate access along the wheelhouse with a grab rail and a high bow rail to ensure safety. There are grab rails on the roof that also serve as storage racks for sports equipment, such as a paddleboard, for example. The side deck surface is flat and wide for safe movement towards the bow. There is easy access to the anchor well, which is large enough to stow chain and mooring lines. As you can see, this boat is equipped with the optional electric windlass. Another feature is the split bow rail, which makes coming aboard and disembarking over the bow a possibility. For this, it is also possible to equip the boat with a bow pulpit and ladder. On the foredeck, it is possible to equip the boat with this large sunbed. The central cushion is removable for direct access to the ventilation hatch. 
I invite you now to come and discover the interior. Access is through this three-section sliding glass door. There are two advantages to having a three-section door. It provides a very wide opening that facilitates movement in and out of the wheelhouse, and it is great for ventilation. You will notice that to get inside there is almost no step. As you can see, the interior is very spacious. There is a lot of room. The whole space is bathed in light, thanks to the large side windows that extend down to table level. When seated in the saloon, it feels like being outside. The saloon has two benches on either side of the large table. The saloon can be transformed into an additional berth, as the table also serves as a support for cushions. The table folds back to make space for the bench to convert into a co-pilot seat with a view facing forward. One of the great new features on the Mary Fisher 795 Series 2 is the large storage locker under the saloon. To open the locker, simply detach this removable panel. This gives you direct access to this large storage space. The forward cabin is equipped with a large double berth. There are large storage lockers under the mattress, as well as storage on each side of the berth, with a shelf located to starboard. For more privacy when sleeping aboard, it's possible to separate the forward cabin from the rest of the boat with this hinged panel and additional curtains. The head is located to starboard in a separate compartment. It can be equipped with a sink and either a marine or a chemical toilet. The new Mary Fisher 795 Series 2 is also equipped with a shower, a floor drain and a hot water tank. The galley is to starboard. Standard equipment includes two sinks in white polyester. What you see here is the luxury version with a black ARPA countertop, a sink and a fixed gas stove. The gas bottle is located outside in the gangway step. Behind the countertop, there is some storage, but under the galley, there is a large double cabinet with plenty of storage space. And finally, opposite the galley, there is a refrigerator. The helm is located to starboard. There is excellent ventilation thanks to the sliding windows located on each side of the wheelhouse and the large sliding roof panel, which brings a lot of air inside the boat. Another great new feature is the optional ventilation system, with the air vents located above the helm and the co-pilot seat, which capture the outside air while underway and direct it through the cockpit. Finally, it is now possible to equip the Mary Fisher 795 Series 2 with air conditioning. It is now possible to have cool air not only in the wheelhouse, but also in the forward cabin. Of course, when connected to shore power, but also when underway, thanks to a 12-volt lithium-ion battery system located under the cockpit floor. The dashboard is a good size, with all the necessary instrumentation, including a 9-inch Garmin, though there is space for a larger screen if desired, a Fusion audio player, Yamaha engine instrumentation, and the bow thruster controls. Once again, in terms of motors, the Mary Fisher 795 Series 2 can accommodate outboards between 150 and a maximum of 250 horsepower. The 250 horsepower motor offers a real advantage in terms of acceleration and cruising speed. As you've seen, this new Mary Fisher 795 Series 2 has many advantages and a lot of new, interesting features. With all its strengths, it is sure to remain the market leader. For more information, we invite you to contact your local Jeannot dealer.